All right. You say just a few more things. Okay. So I am um, about as prepared for this podcast as Clayton is, which means I am mid Google image search of the contents and uh, probably ready to go. I did my Google search. How many hours ago? Hours may be generous. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Clayton. <laughs> Today, I think I have a ghosty forest. Okay. It's going to be a little short guy, but a good one. A little, sh- Wait, is the ghost short? Uh, you know, probably because it is, it's another one of our, uh, our favorite category of ghosts, which is ones that happened in the early 1800s. <laughs> and as we've discussed, they are all a lot shorter back then. So we're going back today. I'm going to take you back on a trip back in time to the year 1822. Not too far off actually from our, uh, our last, uh, our last little, our last little ghost story, um, about the, uh, bell, bell cave, bell, bell, witch, bell, witch, the bell cave, witch, the cave, the cave, witch that cave was bells. at the bells. I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So 1822, but now we are on the East coast. We're at the outer banks, which I am told are like in the Carolinas. Uh, you ever been there? I've been to the Carolinas. I've never, I've not been to the outer banks. It's, it's somewhere on the, on the water. That's, that's yeah, the yeah, bank yeah. is the bank of the water. Correct. The, yes. That's the land. traditionally. Okay. And in this case specifically mm-hmm. also. Yeah. 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 So the outer banks are like a chain of islands. So they kind of go up the, the coast. Okay. I was, wondering, I was wondering how you get to be an outer bank. Cause they're all like, if you're a bank mm-hmm. against the water, mm-hmm. like that, but if there's an island, that's, as far that's as it an goes. outer bank, right? Like that, that one's outer, more outer than the inner. It's an Audi in the, the U S okay. The U S is an, is an innie mm-hmm. and all the islands off the coast of the U S are Audis. Okay. And that end of explanation. I'll just believe you. Okay. Are you watching severance? No. Okay. So the U S is the any, <laughs> the islands are the outies. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so where were we? <laughs> the outer banks, 1822. There's a young man who is by all accounts, uh, a fairly wealthy young man. He's got a real nice horse and that's how primarily how you know that he's, he's, mm-hmm. he's doing okay. He's been out to sea for a really long time. With the horse? Ah, oh, God, that's a good question. Like immediately, like, I'm I don't thinking, think like I don't I don't think the horse is swimming mm-hmm. out in the ocean. But the horse, I you know, you could put horses. On Maybe he boats. went to sea to like forget the horse, if you know what I mean. I do. <laughs> it's always possible. It didn't work. He came back and he's got a real nice horse. Mm-hmm. His dad like sent him away. Like you and that horse. <laughs> that's it. Six months at sea. You come back, you'll be lucky if he's not glue. Well, that's not nice. Well, I, I mean, again, a long time ago. Sure. I'm piecing it together with not a lot yeah, of yeah, information. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fair. So for some reason that we are <laughs> unable to ascertain, he is out to sea. He's on the ocean for, for a while. Um, but uh, regardless of whatever dalliances he may have had with this horse, we also know that he did in fact have, um, I don't know, what's the, it's, I, I don't think they were fiancés. Bow? Was it a bow? I think it, is it a bow if it's a woman? I don't know. I think a bow has to be a, a bow would be a, a man a man bow. Your man, yeah, your man bow. I don't know if there's a. I don't know what that would be. You know, back then they probably just didn't have a name for it. Oh, you know, that's probably be, true. It was yeah. just it was just a woman. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, that makes sense. So he had a woman, mm-hmm. uh, and he was so he was he was on an ocean for a long time. He comes back, and of course he wants to see her. Desperate to see her. He's been gone for so long. Of course. He's already got his horse. Yeah. Back. First so they, yeah, they the horse. With the horse. Everything's yes, cool with the that's horse. good. Good. Dad didn't get rid of the horse. Riding Great. that one all up the coast. Now time to go see woman. Yes. Okay. Yes. To see woman. They go up the coast and there's a big storm coming in off the coast. I think from it, the coast into the land. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I think yeah. that's, that was the direction. From it, the it, outer to the inner. It makes sense. Okay. They make that. They cross that divide. It's, I mean, they're famous for their storms there. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Yeah. They uh, sometimes you get these things called hurricanes. I've heard of um, I have. some of those. Yeah. Uh, so he's, 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 he's riding his horse and he's trying to get uh, back to his beloved, his betrothed. And that's, that's a marriage thing, right? His beloved. Sure. His yeah. woman. He's trying to get back to the woman mm-hmm. in his life. And he sees these dark clouds of the ocean. I mean, it's, it's a real, it's a real mess, like super dark clouds. There's lightning, there's mm-hmm. thunder. The sea is really like frothing up, you know, mm-hmm. really ripping. So there's a big storm coming, like a big Patrick. Look at me. Yep. Yeah. Big fucking storm. Okay. 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 I believe you. 
Imagine it's a big storm. Okay, so like it's tall, it's dangerous. It's, yeah, 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 it's not good. Okay, so he sees these clouds, and he's been at sea. He knows what a bad sea storm looks like. Mm. So uh, he, this thing, this is yeah. clearly a bad sea storm. This is it, and it's just me and my horse. Yep. So he, <laughs> so he says, I, I gotta, I gotta go fast. I gotta get there asap. Mm-hmm. Gotta mm-hmm. kick it in gear. Mm-hmm. So he takes a shortcut. He's been going up this trail that is, you know, close to the to the um, to the coast. He can cut off some time though if he rides on the beach. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, that's very cinematic. Especially yeah. if he like unbuttons his shirt a little bit. Oh, in my lets head, his it's hair already, go. Yeah. The, the shirt's already gone. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> so he gets off the path and he goes to the beach and he's hauling ass up the beach, going real fast, feeling real proud of himself. Mm-hmm. Feeling the music from feeling, the perfume commercial. Feeling gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he's going <clears throat> until his horse stumbles and falls <sighs> into an ice. There are multiple sources of this. So I got real excited. I mm-hmm. hope you do. You feel excited as mm-hmm. well falls with the horse into a big old vat of quicksand. Oh my goodness. Let me ask you this question. Cause you were also like a child in the eighties. I was how much of your childhood did you spend honestly afraid that you might someday fall into some quicksand? I mean, just the waking hours. Yeah. You know, I mean, why was that such a thing? Why, who, who told us I'm all not, that we would die in quicksand? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it's, I was half of my day. I was concerned about, Dying quicksand. Everything that looked yeah. even like a bit, you know, unstable um, and sandy, I just avoided it. The other half of the day was spent being afraid of being uh, locked in a refrigerator in a junkyard and suffocating to death. I don't know what it is. Those two things. Yeah. My third thing was I was, I, I don't know why I was afraid of this, but I was afraid mm. that I would somehow get like trapped in or sucked into and then trapped in the Bermuda Triangle. Oh. I was uh, really scared that I would accidentally go yeah. into the Bermuda Triangle. I don't know why. <laughs> But the quicksand thing was so real that there were, there's honestly, honestly, God, there was a point in my childhood, mm-hmm. my young childhood, in my own defense, where like I, I wouldn't walk into sandboxes <laughs> because I thought, and it wasn't like a long period of my life, but get, it, it was there. I get, what's the point in risking it? You yeah, know, you don't exactly. Know. Yeah. Still here to tell the tale, aren't I? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, this dude was not so lucky. He falls into what they call a uh, pluff mud. Which I <laughs> <laughs> thank God they changed that name. You know what, guys? You know what? I know, I know, I know Jimmy Pluff really wants to call it this. I know he does. <laughs> he lost his mom to it. It's it's an homage. I want to respect that. It. But totally. But everybody's just keeps falling into it because they don't know what the fuck it is. So it can't be we gotta, mud. we gotta be calling it something different. We gotta call We're it, gonna call it swallow sand. I don't know. Does that sound too sexual? Death I, mud. Yeah. No, wait, mm. no, no, no. Jimmy Death Mud probably would get offended oh, he, if we oh, called yeah, that. So yeah, yeah. quick. Quick mud. Quick earth. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> quick earth so eventually they settle on it. yeah so he falls into quicksand apparently so this is near uh, a place called polly's island i don't know what that is but apparently it's pretty popular or famous i guess for having marsh land around it so it's soft earth and famous for marshland uh, that's you gotta, do you think that's, that's the wrong of, word i no no I, i'm just confused why anything would be f- famous for marshland have you ever heard of polly's island i have no i have not so it's not famous for anything else true why not marshland i mean that's like saying it something is like famous for being barren i I mean it's yeah you ever heard of the desert pretty famous (laughs) isn't it i i I have heard of the desert yes okay well case closed so (laughs) so it's real marshland and uh (laughs) like the storied marsh Uh of the east coast and they fall, the horse and the, and the, and the man fall into it, uh, and they sink and they suffocate and they die in this mm-hmm. quicksand. Mm-hmm. Now the woman is very distraught by this. Mm-hmm. She doesn't know what's happened to him. Right. right. And there's no trace left of them. Yeah, yeah. They've gone through the center of the earth. Yeah, <laughs> they've yeah. come out the other end. Yeah, where, like where does, I don't know. Do they know where it ends down there? I don't think so. I don't think, yeah. Cause yeah. I mean, how would you know? No. Right. He's going to come back and tell you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So he, he's gone. He's, 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 he's in space, I think mm-hmm. out the other end of the earth, and, but she can't find it. So she, um, he was pretty close to her house. She's like, so she spends time out wandering and like kind of, you know, mm. doing the, the widow's walk yeah. thing, you know, wailing, the, the wailing, imagine. the, you know, probably some like rending of garments, maybe like gnashing mm-hmm. of teeth, perhaps mm-hmm. probably like hugging herself against the cold wind and mm-hmm. staring out into the ocean, you know, mm-hmm. that sort of thing. Covering her head with ashes. Yeah, Is for that, sure. Yeah, totally. So she's doing that a lot. One night she's doing that not too long after, after his disappearance. And she sees a man standing on the, on the shore and it's looks, you know, from a distance, she can be like similar build, but of course she doesn't think it's him. Right. Cause he's been, you know, why would he be standing yeah. like a weirdo? Yeah. Yeah. 
she gets close to him and she realizes it is him. Oh, right. Great. It's him. He's back. Perfect. She calls out to him and clean these ashes off. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as she calls out to him, he disappears, vanishes, <sighs> gone. Right. Back in the sand. Back in the sand. He fell in again. <laughs> 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 now he's gone. And so she's very sad about that, but she doesn't have much uh, time to really kind of dwell mm -hmm. on that because within, you know, like a few minutes, the storm whips up over the ocean, mm -hmm. comes and slams the coast mm -hmm. and she has to get back home because it's a really dangerous storm. Mm -hmm. Ever since then, every time there's been a major storm coming into coast on uh, the Carolina area, Carolinas mm -hmm. areas, people have seen the gray man wandering the beach. Some people will say they will approach him. And as soon as you get in close enough to see a face vanishes, Oof. All right mm -hmm. now I know what you're thinking. Where's the horse? Where's the horse? <laughs> I mean, let's, let's be honest. That's the only part of the puzzle that's missing right now. Horse ghosts don't exist. What a stupid thing for you to ask, and, Patrick. And why, and why don't they exist? Because, because horses do not have unfinished business. <laughs> horses finish their business every day. Mm -hmm. If you piss a horse off, is it going to be like, oh, one of these days, one of these days? No, it's going to kick you in the fucking ass. That's, that's what's right. going to happen. That's and then, right. And then, yep. Goes business right finished. Yep. Right. Pick yep. to sleep. TCB mm -hmm. took care of that. I'm back to whatever horse stuff. <laughs> So, yeah. So, again, no horse ghosts makes perfect sense to me. Okay. Yeah. So, but this so guy, stop asking questions. All right, but, but, you know, but, but this, this guy, yeah. un, obviously unfinished business. Mm -hmm. right? Sure. Um, but now, so people see him wandering. Uh, and I, so I, the reason I wanted to tell this ghost story is because a couple weeks ago, you were lamenting the fact that we don't talk about ghosts in the modern era. Right. It's all like 1800s ghosts. Sure. Which is certainly true so far of this story. However, right. I should know. You may remember that um, in 1989, you might not remember this, they were pretty young and probably not really oh, geologically uh, dialed in. Or yeah, I was still... Oceanically dialed in. Yeah, I probably had no idea what the what the Carolinas were. Yeah, there was a hurricane called Hurricane Hugo. <gasps> oh, Hurricane Hugo. Remember I, the name though, right? Uh, of course. It was yes. a big one. Yep. People saw him uh, standing on the shore a few days before that hurricane came aboard. Oh, did they Did they leave? Was it like a harbinger? Was it's he a harbinger. harbinger. Oh. He's a harbinger. Yeah. The last time he was seen, this one might sound a little more familiar, the year of our Lord, 2018, Oh, as Hurricane Florence was approaching the coast. Oh. The gray man comes on to the coast anytime a really serious, deadly storm is coming. Like a meteorologist. Kind sort of, of like a meteorologist, like a really a helpful, kind meteorologist. Mm -hmm. And people say he doesn't approach anyone, he doesn't do anything scary. If you see him, it's a warning to you. That you are, um, that you're gonna, there's gonna be a bad storm. It's time coming. to go. Yeah. It's time to go. One woman who claimed to see him, um, before the Hurricane Hugo, uh, struck, she said she saw him on the beach. He disappeared when she got close. She thought it would be the gray man. She heard the stories and she was kind of freaked out, of course. Um, she went home that night. The hurricane landed, took out every one of her neighbor's homes, but not hers. Okay. Okay. So it could be that seeing the gray man also marks you as safe. I don't know. There's a lot of layers to this. There's a lot yeah. of... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, the real reason I wanted to share this story with you tonight was because another thing you said a few weeks ago was it would be really helpful if we had some sort of photographic evidence that was not just an orb. <sighs> Let me ask you this okay. question. Would you settle for video evidence from the year 2018? Is it, is it like a... Is it Sasquatch type video? I'm going to show you this video. <laughs> And you're going to tell me what you think. All right. I'm going to okay. set this up for you. Okay. I know video is a really good podcast thing to do. Mm -hmm. This is security camera footage oh my. of a pier during Hurricane Florence, mm -hmm. okay, 2018, near Polly's Island, uh, famous for its marshes. Mm -hmm. You probably have heard of it before. Yes. Uh, and it's I'm just going to show you this. And you, as you're watching this, I just want you to, to describe what you're seeing. Okay. 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 So currently, this is a... Empty dock, shot in black and white. Well, it's security footage. It's a very tasteful choice. It's black and white. And this is hurricane noises. Okay. Lots of hurricane stuff. Zooming in on the end of the dock. Oh, there's like a, is that it there? This mm -hmm, is like at mm -hmm. the edge of the light. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, it looked a whole lot 
That looks as though it's sort of a white apparition type figure, I guess. Um, it, would you call it a ghost? I would say it, it occurs at a very um, convenient position in the video relative to the light that's on the right side. And at a very convenient brightness compared to the light on the right side. I'm just saying. In what... What do you mean by that? So it, it appears as if it's sort of like the corona of the light. Oh, I see. Like a okay. little bit of a video artifact. Now, let me throw this at you. Okay. Could it be possible mm -hmm. that spectral creatures mm -hmm. only visible through some bends of light and some angles that really, you know, catch the reflection? Sort of like a rainbow. You can't see a rainbow from everywhere. Mm -hmm. Only when the light hits it in the right way. What if that also is true of ghosts? None of them made any sense. <laughs> <laughs> that was it's a lot of words. None of that made any sense. Um, but I, I'm I'm curious why he is why he is walking in there. I mean, everyone says, oh, he just sort of appears and oh, he walks, pauses. Oh, Sorry if I didn't make it clear. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he walks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Got to stretch out. Got to go steps in. I'm 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 not sure why he's at the end of a pier though. Like that. Well, it's the hurricane. Everyone's gone. Well, <laughs> so it's, I'm just I'm when somebody's fucking arcade Pre, games. You yeah, know. yeah pre hurricane. Sure. He's on the beach saying, hey, everyone, get off the beach. Mm -hmm. It's time to go. Mm. And, I, you know, on, on, to be honest with you, Patrick, sometimes mm. people spend time on piers. <sighs> Ghostly beings? Though? I mean, but, you know, the, the pier wasn't there in the 1820s. Oh, correct. So. He doesn't just stand over the quicksand. Why would you do that? <laughs> he would sink in <laughs> every time. People. You're like a lighthouse for the quicksand. No, he's going to slip in. Okay. Anyway, um, that's the story of the gray man. All right. Again, it's a ghosty. Not, you know, not hanging my hat on it, but mm. pretty good video, huh? Pretty interesting. Pretty good video. Pretty interesting. All right, next one's going to be better. <laughs> <laughs>Thank you so much for listening to Is This a Ghost? If you are enjoying this, please tell everyone you know. And also, please take a second to, to rate and review wherever you download your podcast because that's going to help us so much. And we're having a lot of fun, and I hope you are too. And you can help us continue to have more fun for a longer time if you do those things. So tell the world if, you, if you're not busy. I know you're, you're probably busy, but if you're not busy, you can tell the world. That would be awesome. Thank you.